In this video, I will show some new possibilities that is with the plugin for Revit, the light analysis that we see a result from on the right here. Until now, it has been limited to only have the time steps that you will get lead credits for. Before you're getting started and try this out with the light analysis, you need to update it to the latest version. That's very important. It is also a really good idea to uninstall the plugin before install the latest one. To show what I'm talking about, I have launched the light analysis and we get to this window where it actually writes uh, which time it will simulate. So these time steps that uh, give credits for lead. So as we see here, it will simulate these two time. When using the lead specification, it automatically find the global horizontal radiation and the two other numbers that is uh, needed for, for running the daylight simulation. But when you want to specify different time steps, you have to find these numbers. And these numbers you can find by looking into the weather data. If you go to my YouTube channel, you'll find some other playlists. There is one that is called Autodesk Revit Simulate Detailed Design in Daylight. And there is one video about getting weather data output. And in this video, I will show how to get access to this weather data and how to choose the relevant data. And for that, I'm using Google Spreadsheet. You could also use Excel for that. But the numbers I want to look at, I want to simulate. In this case, I'm going to do the 21st of June instead and looking at the extreme days instead of the middle season that is the in September. So this is uh, some of the number I need. All right, let's get started on how to do it. First of all, you need to browse to this folder that is placed under Program Files, Autodesk, Revit 2015, Add-ins, Revit Daylight Analysis. And then we have to look for a file that is called lightthreshold.dll.config. It's a text file that looks like this with this kind of information. First of all, I really recommend to save this original file so you have a backup file. And you can just do that by right click and say copy and, and paste. And to open this file, or just open some of the other files here, you right click and say open with, choose notebook for example, and then it will open this file. On the left we have the original file, and on the right we have the file with the input we need to change the time and date as well as these radiation values. These lines I have marked here is the data we need to put in. And I will paste it into the common field of this video. But first of all we need to tell the this file that it should use another data. Then it need to uh, some time step, then these different values that I showed earlier that we need to type in manually and then if we want to have two time steps I can do it once again here and in this line we can have the data exported as raw data so it makes it possible to read this data in Excel but I won't do that I'll just look at doing a different time step so I have specified data here on the left I have this Excel sheet with the values I want to use Maybe I should mention here that I have taken two days before and two days after the 21st of June to get a more average value. But in cases like this with 21, then the, the, it will make the average very low. So you should look a little bit on the number and find a, a proper average. After you have typed in the values that is needed, you can save the file. But in some cases, you cannot save to this uh, location I just showed. So you need to save it on the desktop and then copy paste uh, this uh, config file from the desktop to the right folder. Back in Revit, where I will just briefly show the dates is changed as well as the values. I will just click on Run Analysis, go to Continue, and here we see that, and here we can see that the date and time as well in the config file is written here. And if you look at these numbers in a relation to the numbers from the spreadsheet, that is actually the number 
that I typed in manually. Let me just show the different result I'm getting. I will just start the analysis and then we need to wait a couple of minutes before it simulate and you can get the result back to the model. And after a while the result will come back and I need to click on generate results. And here we see it doesn't look as a typical look like we don't have this box here that will tell you if it's fulfilling the lead credit but it gives you information about the dates and time you have chosen if it's below or above the threshold that is still these uh, 300 to 3000 and when we press ok we will get the result on the plan as we see here and if I click on it I can show you that right now it's looking at the 21 of December at 12 o'clock and if I change it then we'll have the 21st of June instead so here we have the visual part and if I look in the schedule it also look a little bit different as it used to be we still have this line here but here the actual right for this specific time we have chosen and all the data we have here is based on these time steps we have chosen in the text file this video have shown how to simulate other time steps than the lead specified time steps that is the 21st of September at 9 and 3 o'clock.